Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market and analysis. So let's get started. This is the hourly chart of gold in front of us. And finally, we got to see some retracement correction on the chart of gold. Yesterday, when we were discussing about gold, it was trading around 272526 area. And we discussed about the possibility of market going above 263334 area. Market went up, but market was struggling. When market hit 26, uh, two, sorry, 2741, 2742 area, okay, there was okay, there was a drop. Okay, and it was a good good amount of selling pressure. But ultimately, the market sentiment is above all. Market sentiment is overall bullish, so it was just a technical correction, not a trend reversal. So market took support around 271415 area. You can see here the 50 moving average beautifully provided support to the market. Also, we had the FIBO 0 0.236. Okay, and after taking support around this area, market is continuing the upside. So this is the difference between correction and trend reversal. Because and for a trend reversal, we need a news. And without news, whenever a fall comes like this, okay, it is temporary in nature. Means after the fall, market continues the overall trend. So if you're a positional trader, if you are a swing trader, then you should always respect the market sentiment and plan your trades accordingly. On the chart of gold right now, the market sentiment is bullish. So obviously you should be looking for buy positions only. Even if you see some sell position, you should avoid because your positions last for a couple of days. On the other hand, day traders have the flexibility because day traders only need to focus on the present trend of the market. For example, if market starts going down at this moment, then obviously day traders can okay look for immediate sell position as well. Day traders can be flexible. Okay, but if you're a swing trader, positional trader, you should always respect the overall trend of the market, which is bullish right now. As we have already discussed in our previous videos also, as long as gold is trading above 2700, hold your buy position. Okay, you don't need to exit. If gold breaks 2700, then only you can exit from your buy positions. Okay, now where are the trading opportunities and new trading opportunities? Before that, let's look at the market sentiment. Gold firms up to record levels. Gold rose around 2730 per ounce on Tuesday, trading at record levels supported by its status as a safe haven asset. The geopolitical tension is still going on. Okay, there is uh, no good news yet. So, this tension will remain. Okay, the tension in Middle East, the tension between North Korea, South Korea, the tension between Taiwan and China. Okay, these are all going on issues and I don't see any solution now. So the tension will remain. If the tension remains, gold will remain bullish overall. We can see a gold edges higher amid global monetary easing geopolitical tension. So this is the ongoing market sentiment. Okay. So if a big drop comes as a positional trader, swing trader, you can look for a fresh buy again. Okay. And as we have already discussed in our previous videos also, that gold is not a day trader's chart right now because when gold remains sideways, gold remains choppy, obviously it gives us plenty of opportunities. We have made more than 2000, uh, 2,500 videos in this channel. Okay. And I think most of the videos were dedicated to gold. So mostly we use fever, we use lots of stuff and we discuss trading opportunities. But whenever gold give us opportunities to make money, okay, you should grab it. In a trending market, if you try to scalp, if you try to go for 30, 40 pips, you are missing out a huge profit. So this is a market where you should just take a buy at retracement and hold your buy. Okay, so my dear friend, this is not a day trader's chart. So we do not have many trading opportunities right now. So if you have any ongoing buy, continue. Okay, if you are looking for a fresh position in the market, then you will have to wait. Right now, I can only see three proper trading opportunities. Only three proper trading opportunities. The first opportunity is around 2702 to 2700. This is the first support on the chart of gold. If market drops, we can expect support around this area because of previous support plus FIBO 38.2% retracement level. In case market surprises us with a heavy drop, 
then we can look for a support around 2690 uh, sorry 2690 to 2688 area okay this is the second support on the chart of gold where we can look for a buy but the problem is that gold is trading far away from these levels it means that we do not have any immediate support on the chart and today also i was uh, discussing on the group that if this is the range of the market right now try to listen okay try to understand if this is the range of the market if we consider the previous high and if we consider the previous low of the market we can clearly see market is trading on the middle of the chart if market is trading on the middle of the chart then obviously we do not have any trade, uh, reliable trading opportunities if you if you switch to a lower time frame also okay then also you can see that we do not have any proper reliable trading opportunity so if you trade on the middle of the chart then obviously okay you will be compromising with discipline so you need to understand that we are here to make money for ourselves not for the broker sometimes we forget that we need to be profitable by the end of the month not for the thrill some many of us fail to understand or actually we forget that that we are earning okay for our family we are earning for a better future but sometimes we are so much um, involved with trading that we love the excitement so my dear friend please please do not follow it if you do not get any position also then also okay but do not compromise with the discipline okay and as we can clearly see right now market is going up so obviously we have a resistance around 2741 but obviously the market structure has been bullish means market is forming higher highs so when a market structure is bullish taking a sell at previous high is not a good decision at all if market breaks 2741 during the day okay then wait for some time if you see the breakout is good market is going up with big big green candles then only go for a buy otherwise just avoid what you can do is okay after some time when market will be coming down because see market will not go up in a straight line the market will go up like this when market come down again the same resistance the same resistance will become the new support means around 274142 area you will find market taking support when market will be taking support around this area then it will be a good position to enter okay so instead of taking a buy at breakout okay uh, it is better to buy a retracement on the chart of gold right now because here for all these time okay we have been discussing about buy at breakout but today i think that there is a possibility of breakout um, failing so if breakout fails then obviously our stop loss will suffer so try to buy a retracement today because the up move has started uh, since yesterday and still the market is continuing so around this particular area market may face some selling pressure and the breakout may turn into false breakout also okay so be careful and there's uh, there's a famous quote in the market uh, trading should be boring if it excites you you are in the wrong track do not forget bye bye take care